come today to Exmoor National Park, to one of its many beautiful fast-flowing rivers. Rivers like these are perfect habitat for the elusive bird species I'm hoping to see. It's the dipper. They love habitat like this because there are lots of rocks sticking out of the river which provide them with good perching points to dive into the river and often actually submerge their head completely under the water to look for their prey. Their prey will generally be insect larvae such as from mayfly or caddisfly or freshwater shrimps or at times maybe even minnows. It's quite fascinating to watch them at this time of year during May or late April when they've got their fledglings. And you see them feeding incessantly all day long, searching up and down the river for food and feeding their fledglings. Watching this little fledgling, I at times saw him being fed by the adults six to eight times within a single minute. And when you see them fly over to the fledglings, it's often so quick. It's only one or two seconds and they're off again. I've slowed down some of this footage to show this. It's only taking one and a half to two seconds as the adult comes in, quickly gives the fledgling some food and it's off again with its whirring little flight. Adult dippers are astonishing birds to observe. They're the only songbirds that actually can walk in a fast-flowing river like this, right against the current, and submerge its head and peering under the water for its prey. To help them do this, dippers have a third transparent eyelid called the nictitating membrane that they can close and enable them to see underwater. Most of the time you'll see the dippers just submerging their head and pushing forward one or two centimetres at a time. But sometimes dippers will actually swim right under water, almost looking like an otter, using their wings to propel them forward for maybe up to a metre. In this next sequence you can see this quite clearly of the dipper right underwater swimming along, like I say, like an otter. interesting here to see that having just fed the fledgling the adult is now feeding right in front of it and it looks like it's almost trying to show it how it should be searching for food itself
was pleased to capture this little scene here, where the adult seems to be encouraging the fledgling to get down into the water. You can see it begging for food, but the adult keeps pointing down into the water and seems to be almost saying, you know, you go down there first and show me that you can dive too and look for your food before I give you any. And you can see here, it actually starts diving down, goes right underneath the stone, comes back up with little bits of something is found and showing it to the parent. These fledglings are likely to have left the nest only about two or three days ago and they'll be here fed by the adults for another week or so before they have to be completely independent. So in that time they have to learn this technique of actually standing in the stream without getting washed away and searching for prey underwater. For most of the session today that I've been filming, I've only been seeing one adult and one fledgling. But now a second fledgling has appeared that looks completely different. It looks much sleeker. I wonder if they're going to get on. It's tempting to say that they're so different they might be from different nests. And there, if you wait, you can see they're actually going to have a fight. On returning to the same site three days later, the birds seem much calmer. While a few days ago, the adults seemed to be in a frenzy of incessant foraging and frantically going back and forth to feed their fledglings. Now, you can see them sitting still much more often, just sitting on a rock, preening themselves and keeping a casual eye over their fledglings foraging nearby for their own food. Once the young are independent, about seven to ten days after leaving the nest, the adult female is likely to start another brood. Very often they will use the same nest to lay their eggs in year after year. If you want to go and find dippers yourself, and aren't sure whether they're about in your section of river that you're looking at. A good thing to look for is bird poo deposited on rocks that are right in the centre of the river. While well, it might be from other birds, very often if they're right in the middle of the river, it could well be dippers. I'm hoping to return in two or three weeks' time to see if I can see them actually feeding the second brood by the nest and maybe even see them fledge.